Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a Sorcellery Apothecary haul. This is an indie house that does a lot of gourmands and really unique fragrances. I'm honestly so impressed with the house. Even though not everything I ordered is for me personally, I think that they're all so well crafted and I will continue to purchase from this house. So let's just get started. So the first one I picked up is called UFO Disco. I'm gonna have to put the notes on the screen, but I think I remember there being mango in this and I can smell that tropical mango scent. And there is some spice to it that kind of itches my nose. I don't think that there's pink pepper in here, but I can smell something a little bit spicy. It's definitely fruity, but it's not the typical overly sweet, juicy, fruity scent. It's completely different from anything I've ever smelled. So I'm not entirely obsessed with this one, but I think that it's nice. Next up, I have a party or something. And this one is also spicy. You know, I noticed that in a lot of the sorcellery fragrances that there is often a spice and it kind of smells similar. Like it's this DNA that's in their fragrances. Not all of their fragrances are spicy, but if there is a spice, it reminds me of the one that's in UFO Disco, but it's a lot more intense in a party or something. I believe this is some type of cake. I think this is the pistachio cake one, but I could be wrong. But I do smell some sort of crumbly cake, like a realistic, I don't know, vanilla cake or like cornbread cake. I know that sounds really oddly specific, but then a lot of spices. Like, I don't know if it's cloves, I don't know if it's nutmeg, but it's too spicy for my liking. Next up is 2AM and Lafayette. I believe this might have been part of the Halloween Hauntings collection, so maybe it's not even available anymore. But I wanted to share my thoughts anyways. I smell something so good. I don't remember liking this one that much when I first smelled it, but right now it just smells like burning marshmallows or toasted marshmallows. It smells literally exactly like that. Like, I don't know how else to describe it, but yeah, it's like the marshmallows are blackened a little bit. You know, they're getting there, they're toasting, but it's not overly smoking. It's not overly burnt because sometimes I don't care for that. Like it's nothing like by the fireplace where you're going to smell really smoky. It doesn't smell like the open flame. It doesn't smell like wood burning. It smells just like the marshmallow is burning. So, wow, I like that one a lot. Next up is Ancient Waters of Venus. And this one smelled completely different than what I was expecting. I believe there's lychee in here, which I can smell, but it comes across more soapy, shampoo-y in this fragrance. Not overly so, like it doesn't smell super generic. It doesn't smell boring or linear. Yeah, it's just this nice, fresh, slightly aquatic, but not too aquatic lychee fragrance. I also feel like there's another fruit in here. It's not just lychee because sometimes lychee can be too sweet on its own. I feel like there's something else in here. Like, I don't think it's an apple, but it's something like a crisp apple or like, you know what I mean? Just something to balance out the lychee. So I like this one. I wouldn't get a full bottle of it or anything. I don't think she does full bottles but she does like bigger sizes for sure. By the way, I guess I forgot to give you guys a little rundown of the company, but for a while they only sold perfume oils. Like that's the only way you could get the product, but I do think she's coming out with perfume sprays in bottles, I'm presuming. Like, I don't know how big the bottles are gonna be or if they're just gonna be roller balls as well or open necks, but I do know that she plans to come out with three of the most popular scents in eau de parfums whereas before it used to be oils only and i kind of didn't like that at first i almost didn't purchase from her because i'm not a big perfume oil person i just think it's messy and i just like spraying my product but i decided to go through with it anyways and i'm glad that i did i feel like the fragrance is so much more intense it lasts so much longer it projects so much wider and, you know, I, there's really no problem with it besides, you know, the inconvenience, which I've just gotten over at this point. Next, I have cake for breakfast. This has the same spice as a party or something to me. I don't know if this is the pistachio cake or if that one's the pistachio cake, but they smell very similar to me. There is some powdery chocolate in here. There is that, again, Cornbread, vanilla, crumbly cake. I don't know, I can't figure out which one it is. So far, a party or something is the spiciest. Cake for breakfast is second. 
And then UFO Disco is the least spicy, but it still has some spices to it. So next up is Love and Complications. I forgot what fruit was in here, but it was something that I really wanted to try. I don't know if it was passion fruit or what. But this just smells really soapy, not in a good way like the Ancient Waters in Venus. I felt like that one, it was just this really pretty lychee floral type of soapy scent. But this smells like a bar of soap, like a fruity bar of soap. So I don't know, it's just, it doesn't really work for me. I'm just going to move on to the next one, which is A Bump in the Night, which I think this was also part of that hauntings collection that... I'm pretty sure it was limited edition. This one is definitely super smoky. It kind of smells like hookah right now or like a tobacco shop or maybe not tobacco, like, cause I really love tobacco and fragrances, but this kind of smells like a cigar or like something really heavy, even hookah, like either hookah or cigar, but not, not tobacco. Have to make that distinction. It's like leathery, it's very smoky. It's sweet, but yeah, if you like By the Fireplace, you might like this. It's not a dupe because By the Fireplace is more like smoking, burning wood. This isn't wood. It's smoking, burning hookah, smoking, burning cigars with, I don't know, some vanilla in the background. Ooh, I do not like a bump in the night for me personally. Then I have Villanelle's Happy Ending or Villanelle's Happy Ending. I don't know how you're supposed to say it. And I know that this has strawberry and pink pepper and milk. It's supposed to be like one of those Korean strawberry milk scents, but with pink pepper. And I really liked this when I first smelled it because I loved how unique it is and how it smells exactly like how they say it's supposed to smell. But I don't know. Sometimes my skin doesn't vibe well with pink pepper. It's weird. Like my skin just amplifies it tenfold. So I'm fine with Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper by KLE, but I can't really... I mean, I could wear Donna Born in Roma. I feel like it smells good on me, but the pink pepper personally bothers me in that one. So it just depends. There is a lot of pink pepper in here. I don't want to say it completely dominates the fragrance because you can still smell this creamy, milky, strawberry scent that's really beautiful. I wish that that was the main focus, that maybe it was like 80% that, 20% pink pepper, but it's kind of like they're equals. Literally, it's like 50-50. And I like the pink pepper because it makes it smell perfumey and a little edgy and more grown up instead of just having like a strawberry milk scent. But again, I think just for me, especially on my skin, like the way it smells is great, but on my skin, the pink pepper is exacerbated even more. So just a warning, but I've never smelled a scent like this before. Like, I think that this is such a unique creation and this is the reason why I really stand this house, so. Last, but certainly not least, is Oh What Big Eyes You Have. And you guys, this is absolutely stunning. I will say on my skin, it projects so much. Like, it's overwhelming. I love the scent, it's so gorgeous, but it gets a little too much just because it is so strong because it's this perfume oil. And you know, I'm not really the type of person to normally say that because I want to smell my fragrance on myself. But yeah, a little much I will say, like I don't need to use a lot at all. Like two drops is enough, okay? That all being said, this is supposed to be a lemon meringue pie scent and it 100% is. It is the most gorgeous, realistic lemon meringue pie opening. It's creamy it's sweet it's lemony without being you know clorox ish or abrasive you can just smell like the graham crust it's just it's gorgeous however the dry down you completely lose the lemon in my opinion i mean maybe it's there but in the beginning it's so obviously lemon ring pie and then in the dry down it changes a lot it just becomes accident olive by Jusette Parfums, if y'all have tried it, literally it smells the exact same. It's that creamy, biscuity, delicious, sweet vanilla. It's not synthetic, it's not generic, it is the best. So that's actually my favorite vanilla of all time and it costs $165 for a 50 ml, it's crazy. And this is basically the same. It actually performs better because it is that oil and it just, becomes this huge cloud around you 
and bonus points, it has a delicious lemon meringue pie opening. So again, I do personally wish that the lemon meringue pie stayed throughout the fragrance because I already have accidental lavani, you know what I mean? And I would have liked for the lemon meringue to be consistent throughout the whole thing, but I'm, I'm not mad at it. Actually, I am a little mad at it because the lemon meringue pie thing only lasts like 30 minutes and it really breaks my heart when I start to notice the lemon going away. But anyway, I highly, highly, highly recommend this one. And that is all for this video. So let me know if you guys have tried this brand down below and I will catch you guys in my next video. See you then. Bye.